Hi guys, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. Happy Saturday. Hey, the, the project we're going to do right now, we're going to build two sifters. Very, very simple sifters to sift out the compost. But as you guys know, that compost a lot, your compost isn't going to uniformly break down. There's going to be bigger pieces in there. If you just take this quarter inch square mesh and you throw that rough compost onto this, it's going to clog up so quickly that you're not going to efficiently sift out the seed compost, the compost with the fine granules. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it in two stages. We're going to build one for this stage, which is a half inch square. And then after we sift out that, we'll sift it out with this quarter inch square. So thanks for watching. Come along with us. Okay, so here's the frame. Like I said before, or maybe I didn't, I can't remember now. Um, this is just scrap wood that I had, and they happen to be the exact same length. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just utilize them how they are, make it easy. This is very long, of course, because so that it can sit on top of the wheelbarrow. I have a very wide wheelbarrow. And, uh, and not worry about if I shift left or right, it falling into the wheelbarrow. And then the metal grate is going to go, or the wire is going to go on the back side here and become the sift. And there is frame number two. Now it is time to lay the mesh. And now they're finished. Here is the quarter inch sifter. And here is the half inch sifter. The exact same size and length of board was utilized, like I said, because I had already had them all cut. It was actually scrap from another project. But I'll show you now how you put it on top of the wheelbarrow and sift some things. It's pretty wet outside. It's been raining all day, so I doubt tomorrow it will be dry enough to really get this thing working, but when the compost is dry enough, this thing is going to work fantastic. I'm also going to utilize it to clean out some old gravel that has a lot of dirt and debris in it as well. Okay, today's the day. It's President's Day, so I have that off today. And um, I went ahead and just tacked on or screwed in just some extra spare uh, 1x4s just to cover up the little prickly ends that would cut my wrists and things uh, as I sift through this. So just you repurposing some stuff, some junk that I had. So these are looking pretty good. I'm pleased with them. Now let's give it a try on the wheelbarrow and see if it works. The first project we'll do is actually going to be sifting out gravel. We'll see how that works. Let me just show you what a mess this is. So we had our dog in this pen right here, and, and of course, Weimariners, they just love to dig and dig and dig. And by so doing, they dug out the rocks over the past three years, kicked and chewed up the fence, <laughs> chewed up the um, underlying weed mat, all kinds of stuff like this. So this is where we're gonna clean up. We're gonna clean up by sifting out all the dirt, depositing the dirt elsewhere, putting the rock back in. Here's a bit of shot with that big tote removed. Pretty much a big mess. Forgive me, I'm out of breath, and forgive the wind. Look how, look how fine that is. Pretty awesome. First section of it completely done. 
can see a lot of rocks in there. It's just impossible to get them all. So I'm just going to put this dirt back in, level it off, lay weed mat, take the, and then, then I'm going to shift over to the other side and do that before I lay the gravel so I don't mess up things. So here's the progress. Whew, I'm getting too old for this. If 31 is too old, I think everyone's too old for this type of work. Hey, here we go. Here's the progress. This side, the dog didn't, he was on this side of the pen, so he dug, and there's a lot more work to do on this side. This side's going pretty fast. I'm trying to maintain the weed mat as much as possible. So I'm almost done here. It's amazing how well this works. I love it. the weed mat and uh, even though that part right there looks like it's just dirt there is weed mat underneath there probably can clean that up a little bit and blow it off and I'm just laying the gravel in one second I'll be done more like 10 minutes okay guys it's all done look at that looks a heck of a lot better than it did before that's for sure and all because of a little effort and um, scrap lumber and a seven dollar bundle of wire mesh on the bottom and a few u nails i think it costs two dollars and 38 cents for the u nails and i only use probably you know a tenth of them or less so very cheap project i'm liking it looks good thanks for watching guys see ya